Hey guys, it's Banner. Welcome back to Strife. In the last part, we uh, went to the mines, got some rocks, and then we chucked them in here, and then we went into this area, and then we were like, nah, let's save, let's go somewhere else for the next part. And now I've realized maybe I shouldn't do it in that order, mainly because we're going to be going to the relevant area a bit later. So for now, we're checking out the Conversion Chapel. Now the Conversion Chapel... Ah! Oh, 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 come on, come on, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, ah, ah. There we go, wasn't that bad. Yeah. Yeah, we did it. Uh, so this place has the secret. It also has a lot of side doors, which would be great for goodies, I, I assume. Ah! The spiders everywhere. I can't handle it. So much spider. So much spider. Look at that. Look at that. You see that? I had like health before. That guy could have had a better time had he not come up against me. I guess. That's a shiny piece of tile. Um, hit the switch. Hopefully, nothing bad happens. Nice. It really does look like there's extra stuff over here, but I don't really think I can get there. So... There's one dude up here! It wasn't even close. He dealt that much damage. So the conversion chapel's kind of a... Oh my gosh! Dude's just... They, everything deals so much damage. Ah, oh. oh, that doesn't. Uh, I'm glad I stepped off because that didn't. That doesn't look promising. Uh, da -da -da. But it's, it's kind of neat place, and this is probably like the last uh, main area that you're intended to go to. You know, apart from proving grounds again. See that? It's the key. We found the key. Hey, buddy. I I like that effect of just dudes going dudes going past. That's the phosphorus ones. Get him! Just get him! There we go. So I got like no health. I wonder what's at the top of there. Who knows? I feel like I went the actual right way. Who knows? We're checking out the whole place anyway, I'm not gonna, like, completely rush this one. That's a bit of an ominous looking, uh, picture. So that will lower that, and that reveals this kind of biggish room. With a dude up there. Not any more steps that I can't step up, I gotta jump. The red crystal key, lots of key. Oh, it was a trap. Oh, jeez. How did he not see me? I ran right past the wreck. I tried to wreck him. This is a room filled with nope. I'm going for it anyway because I'm a bit suicidal and I want to use the Siji. I want to see if any of these guys can actually get crushed by these. Oh, it doesn't drop low enough. Oh, it kind of, kind of does. Still quite a few on the ceiling, man. I'm just trying to get them to drop. I 
and then I get crushed. Die! I just want to do that. Keep dying. They're stuck. We got jammed in the floor. Alright. Uh, might as well use one of these. They give them out and it's just, they don't automatically trigger. Might as well use them. Alright. So that was worth it because we got a key. And there's a teleport. Which leads back to the center. Glass! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you need all the kind of keys from these areas. This is the right way. Down, boy, down. <laughs> I'm sorry, my hard drive's slow. Alright, oop. that instead. I'll get back up. So I, I just witnessed that and now I gotta go up these chunky staircase. Yeah! This one is the literal dead end. Where did that quick save last? Yeah, all right, nice. <laughs> the literal dead end. Hold on, hold on. I feel like it's a it's a secret to everybody. Nah. What what I feel like what that's supposed to be is that you. Oh, you just time it. Okay. I thought it was you pull the lever and then uh, it triggers it, but no, I think that's just uh, timing it right. Uh, and then I guess throw this switch. And I screw that up. That's okay, because I've got no major health kits. And I just realized I have to buy them. I, I, I can go all the way back to the other store, but. There's one at the front base as well, but. I feel like a better place to get it would be the, um, the, the order, no, oh, sorry, the, the front, not the town, I meant the town. You saw that, right? You saw that, there's a dude there. I'm just gonna run this one. Crap. Uh, well, I guess this would get me out of trouble. Did you hear that? Did it just open and then I was like, nah. Okay, here we go. What a shame. Our technology is being wasted on torture instead of life. Just when I think I've seen it all, they go in human and come out. I don't even want to think about it. Oh, I accidentally chucked a napalm. Again, I like the effect. It's like dudes coming from the left, and you got these dudes out on the right. And you, you, you know, because because I because I've finicked around with the Doom engine, I think you can actually do that just normally. There we go. So once you flick that, you get ten more. The Oracle was right. mason has gone nuts. He just knowingly sent two hundred men to their death. I want vengeance for the dead and for the living dead. Dun dun dun! Guys, Maisel's evil. But uh, I think you can flick some switches here and there. Uh, and hopefully we'll be able to figure out what's behind the area, maybe? Let me flick that. So yeah, so if you're wondering, that's uh... 10 stamina, 10 accuracy, and that is the last 10 apart from killing the uh, almost final boss. I 
Aha! Treasure hunt! There we go, there's another secret. Uh, there's also one more secret for us to grab. Uh... Not in the entire game. There's actually, I, and I think I mentioned this, there's actually 18 secrets that count towards that achievement for 16 things. I know, it's a little weird. One of them, one of them seems like an error because it's a, a place that gets locked off. And I think we already talked about it. Uh, but the other one, I don't, I don't know why that one's there. I think probably the other side has a secret as well, but, uh, tricky part is one. Okay, that's where it was. There it is. And there you go! If you did all that, you would get an achievement. Congrats for you. Uh, that's not saying that there isn't already, uh, there's two more achievements, or two more secrets we can get, so, so don't worry. But, uh, yeah, I guess that was it. Now, hopefully none of these guys have gone aggro, because they're just all facing the wrong way, behind the wall. This guy's on the left have aggro, and there's no one in here, because we've taken them all out. But, uh, so suddenly, Maisel has gone nuts! And, uh, yeah. And I think this will go to show, uh, how the design on the main story is a little bit better, because you remember in the bad, in the okay ending, where we killed everyone and then we had to kill the the, uh, the oracle at the end and it was just like why do we just have to go all the way back and all the way back in just to do that this is going to be a bit more awkward than i was expecting unless casual no it's not it was worth a shot um whereas in this one Maisel's got nuts, so we're gonna kill him. And then the only boss left is the one right in front of where we need to go. Nah, it's too potent. It's really awkward. I picked up all this health and now it's just gone. It's just gone. I could do it better. We could do it better with a sigil. Do you see that? I like shot it and it was like, nah. Gonna miss slightly. Yeah, so now we've kind of just gone at it here. I don't think ideally you should be doing this, but uh, we'll see how it turns out. It's kind of annoying as that up there, you see it? It's the turret. It's the biggest killer. Wow, take, take it, man. Take it. Got 190 health, I can use it. Because the auto thing only kicks in when you're like below 50. There we go. Now, hopefully, no one else is aggro. Shadow armor. Yeah, I don't know if I can actually make, make this work right. Sometimes this thing just doesn't like shooting, it's kind of annoying. The shops reopen, I think, after a bit as well. As I'm really hoping, because I'm just blowing everyone up here. Oh. oh, there's also a tower up here, and I want to see if I can. Yes, I can. 
is enough to get this dude. And wow, look at all this beautiful stuff. Nice. Yeah. Take that, take that. Ooh. I just noticed this turret. There we go. We haven't had like any turrets like in a while. And then it's just the first one, it's just like, nah. That dude up there. Get get off there. Oh, the yellow dude's still kind of sitting there. That dude is very dead now. Whoops. And now we'll grab these health kits and we'll be like, yeah! It's a bit weird having 90 accuracy and actually being able to hit these. Quick! Out the floodgate! It can't go out there. Alright. Oh, come on. You see this? It's like I want to go close to hit the turret, but I can't go close. Because I gotta hit that dude. There we go. Oh, there's two turrets, and I don't think I've got enough ammo to really take out both. Come on, eat it! There we go. And hopefully, we haven't just completely ran out of everything. This guy's got a nice kind of room here. I'm gonna save, because... Because I guess we can. Unfortunately, the reason why the shops close up like that is so you can't kill them. I don't want to hang around that guy too much because I don't want him in our carpet. I feel like we've killed everyone now. I hear people though. I hear people. They're probably in the medic room. Still there and a couple of peeps. I'm not actually too sure where they'd be hanging out now. I, and the one guy is, doesn't close up, and he's just like, oh, can I help you? Oh, he's in there somewhere. Whoa! Dude, why am I running so fast sometimes? It's a bit weird. Uh, could go to the cat coast. Yep, I killed everyone. And the shops are open again, but that one dude is going to kill me the next time I come around. Did I shoot him? Did I shoot him? I hope he comes back. That dude's still there. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get to the center of the pub. Of the, the pub. The bar? Cabin, there we go. Yeah, because I hadn't gone in here. Dude's hanging out. Dude there. Sounds like a dude. There we go. 
That's it. That's all the dudes. Can't be any more dudes. There's no more dudes. I have literally killed their entire commons. We've shut down their factory. There is absolutely no threat. I also love how there's a beggar here. So for so with an attitude. Um, yeah. I open again? Nope. And the problem is they're not going to open up again until time passes in here. In this map. So for right now, they're not going to open up unless we wait a bit. So it's just like... with your, your handle. Why does that door just open? Uh -huh. Yup. Actually, yeah, let's just, uh, let's just, let's just keep going, because... Let's say by the next time we come here, then we'll buy some stuff. Or we'll, we'll buy some stuff when we get to the front. So I sell it there. And I don't know if the prices are any better or worse. A little bit interesting that we uh, casually murdered everyone there. Yeah. We the best. So just for good old time's sake, old time's sake, don't know what I'm talking about there. <laughs> We're gonna head back to the front base with 35 health. Yeah, that's how we do it. Uh, this way. So if mesel has gone mad, the big question is, what is everyone else doing right now? I am the one god. I need his spirit to be free so that I can leave my body and join him in flight. You have no idea what you possess and what terror you face. The one God must be free. He will reward me. I will be one. Sick fuck. Waste him. Die. Die again. Now look what you done. Look what you done. Ah, uh, that. Could have ended up a bit better. That could have ended a bit better. <laughs> I I was and the worst part is that uh oh no no we've got a uh, we've got three pieces of sigil so we're a little bit better this time around. We only had two the, the last time. I am the one god. Man, that's just like a one hit. Man, I got this huge bug on my wall. I don't know. It's like. Probably about an inch long, but I don't know, it looks like a weird kind of creepy crawly bug. I am the one god. I don't know why it's still in there to be honest. I gotta dodge his lightning. I feel like everyone else is shooting me because I hit them with the sigil. Uh, could you pause for a second? I'm getting a little sick. How about we let him come outside I am again? The one god. Get immediately wrecked. This is how we do it. Dude, it was hard the first time, the it's hard god. this time as well. Oh, this guy doesn't sell stuff. Oh, dude, yeah. Spectre, let them come outside. Everyone's doing a swell job hitting him. And he's doing a swell job getting outside. I feel like the best course of action is to stand right next to it. There we go. Let him shoot some lightning and then. <laughs> I was expecting, I was expecting a bit more fair of a fight. Eh. I feel like I just hit every, like the dudes in front. Did that wreck him? Wait for him to come through, he's gonna open the door. 
Then these guys are gonna be a bit sad. We're all open it for them. Surprise! There's the ghost. He's aiming for me, right? Get him! Get him! There we go. Nice. Richard reports that the factory we destroyed leads to a lab, and they're getting a sigil power signature from within. Back to the factory, and our next step to freedom. Back to the factory, you say everyone is dead. I'm a monster. Uh, okay. So anyway, so in the next part, we'll head off to the lab, and hopefully we'll see some cool little side things that you won't be able to do in the 1996 version, but in the 2014 version, it's pretty fine. So anyway, see you guys next time. Bye-bye!